now let's discuss about the application under test so there is this application called open source demo which is orange hrm live application the application which i am going to use throughout this course so it is really important that i'll walk you through this application so that you know what i am automating in later chapters all right so you can use the other applications also i have given some list of applications there are two applications from catalon team which is demo store catalon.com catalon demo cura heroku app.com and there are some other websites which are famous in different countries you can refer and you can start using them i would suggest that you use uh, you know a web application which i am not using in this course so that you know you can learn it in a better way from a different application and you will face new challenges which i am not discussing about probably you know and you will spend some time in order to solve those problems that in that way you will learn uh, the automation in better terms right so now let's discuss about the application under test this is the orange hrm live.com this is an open source application so anybody can use it this is the application which we are going to use through this entire course of automation using catalon studio so now let's get familiar to this application and this is the username and password i'm just entering the username and password and just click on the login button now this will take you to this screen and this is the first screen which will show you the dashboard and these are the quick links which you can access and these are the different modules which are available in this application so just to understand this application let's say this is a hrm application like the name says so this will maintain the records of employees and this is used to manage the leaves and maintain the employees create a record for an employee or deleting an employee who have left the company and this is where you know you can maintain the time sheets um, the time records which are logged in by the employees against each employee and the leave management module so this is the hr application which is you know connected to everybody so this is the module admin module this is the place where you know you can add a new employee and you can choose the role for him you can create a username and you can select the status of employee as enabled or disabled and you can click on the save button this will save the employee record into this portal so which means that employee has joined the company and the leave module talks about applying applying the leave for that employee for a certain day and under which business unit he is belonging to and track the leaves number of leaves which is for that particular employee and between certain dates and you can filter out all the leaves or uh, select only the leave requests which are rejected the ones which are cancelled the ones which are pending for approval so this is about uh, the leave module and the time module which maintains the time sheets which are filled by employee to log their efforts from day to day and the recruitment tab or module deals about you know the list of candidates who are going to be selected for the company and who are shortlisted for uh, a round of interview who are rejected who have applied for this one and at which status each application for this employee for a certain position is is something which you can see over here and even you can download the resumes of that respective candidates for that respective role you can actually filter out the records based on the status between the dates which you wanted to view so this module has a little bit of everything about the candidature or the recruitment so my information talks about the information of the user who have logged in which is paul in this case uh, this is about paul collings personal information and performance is where you can track the employees uh, performance dashboard is the page which we have seen in the beginning of uh, when we logged into this application so here you can go and click on logout button so this is the application which we are going to automate now so i have designed six test cases initially so while we go through this course based on uh, you know the feedback which i may get from you are also based on some more ideas while i am designing 
this course when I'm explaining this course, I may add even some more test cases in order to discuss a problem and how we solve it using Catalon Studio. And also, uh, I'm trying to maintain like what are the sort of web elements that we are going to deal with against each test case. This test case deals with uh, text box and button this also again deals with text box and button text box button link text and link list box So I just tried to main cover the test cases from every point of view So this is one point of view wherein you know we wanted to Work on different web elements so that we can cover the entire Automation course with respect to web elements angle and the variety of test cases which I am choosing is covering the angle of functional coverage and going forward I, I may need to increase it and these test cases are going to cover some of the Catalon features so once we move forward I may need to add some more test cases which have to discuss about some more advanced features of Catalon so by now you should get an idea that what I am doing is instead of just automating some test cases I am designing the test cases so that you know they will be helpful in dealing with the problem and also in understanding Catalon as a tool and also all the features of Catalon. So these test cases are going to target all possible features of the Catalon that we are going to learn. So this learning is going to be fun and it is more sensible this way is what I feel because you can relate to a real time scenario and at the same time you can learn the Catalon as a tool and also all possible features of the Catalon and also while we are automating this we may face some challenges which are close to real world challenges so you will get a feel of like you know you are actually automating the application um, which is something used in the real time so that's the idea of designing this course